Yadong Entertainment gave us the amazing six member boy group, otherwise known as C Clown. <laughs> Between the years of 2012 to 2015, C-Clown had a very short run on the music scene before they suddenly disbanded. So what happened to them? Well, let's talk about it. TK, Ray, Kong Jun, Siwoo, Maru, and Rome debuted on July 8th, 2012 with the EP Not Alone and title track Solo. absolutely love this song it's still super good and it's a very very great debut in general i miss when k-pop songs used to sound like this it just gives me like so much nostalgia this is a breakup song and it's about how the guys are reeling from getting their feelings hurt by their ex then on november 15 2012 c clown came back with the ep young love and title track far away Young love. This song brings back so many memories. I literally remember when it first came out. It was received very well back then and it still hits to this day definitely one of my top favorite songs by them so the guys are trying to express their feelings for this girl that they're interested in but she already has her sights set on somebody else then c clown came back with the ep and title track shaking heart <laughs> All of their songs are so catchy and the vocals are spectacular. I loved the dance and the outfits here as well. So this is a messy love song about how their ex has broken up with them, but she still comes back to him, like, well, to them randomly whenever she needs to be comforted. The guys obviously still have feelings for her, so, you know, they try to support her when she comes. But by the end of the song, they discover that she's already, like, seeing another guy. Like I said, messy boots. Then on January 6, 2014, C Clown returned with the single Tell Me. <laughs> Another fantastic song. This is also another complicated love song about how the guys are in a relationship, but the love seems to be like be very much so one-sided. They want to know why their girlfriend seems like uninterested and distant from them. They're questioning if there is another man in the picture, and ultimately they just want to hear her profess her love for them. Then on February 14, 2014, C Clown came back with the single Justice. This song is so iconic and it just brings back a lot of memories as well. I loved the dance to this song. C Clown was definitely experimenting with a different sound here. This is a super energetic song about how the guys can take on any challenges that come their way. And then on July 7, 2014, C Clown returned with the single Let's Love. <laughs> When I tell you, this song is my favorite song by them. Like, I love this song with every fiber of my being. I just, I wish that they could have experimented more with this sound before they disbanded. Because 
Although they have great songs, this was their best. I play this all the time to this day. It's just that amazing. So the guys are putting in work with this girl. They're trying to win her over by suggesting that, you know, that they can buy her whatever she wants. And they're telling her that she'll be treated really well. They come right out and ask her, like, hey, date me. And it's done in such a stylish manner. Love, love, love this song. On October 5th, 2015, the agency announced C-Clown's disbandment in a post that states, Hello, this is Yadong Entertainment. C-Clown, who debuted on July 19, 2012 with Solo, will be officially disbanding today, October 5th, 2015. We want to thank the six members and all the crowns who loved C-Clown's music. Some of the members will continue to work as producers under Yadong, while the others will come back as a new group after preparations. The announcement of C-Clown's disbandment it came after um, one of the members who now goes by DPR Ryan, you know, Rome, but now DPR e- <laughs> Ryan, who is that? DPR Ian, he made um, a questionable post on his Instagram at the time, seemingly hinting that something had gone down between him and the agency behind the scenes so dpr ian changed his name to christian Yu at the time and he wrote something along the lines of i apologize to the fans i really do but i tried i really did it's just too hard now don't worry y'all that's like what he wrote on instagram and then in 2021 ian went into details about his time in the music industry with teen vogue and this is what he had to say What I went through was pretty traumatic. Everything was happening so fast that I couldn't stop to process what was happening. It was almost like, I can't believe this is how we're getting treated. And it was pretty tough because I was held under a contract. So because of that, I had a pretty hard time just even leaving the company. Ian states that it was unfortunate that he had been managed by an agency that held on to old like this old generation attitude towards their artists. He also later on noted that nowadays people are a lot more educated about what the K-pop idol life is like compared to when he first started out back, you know, in the 20 the 2010s and whatnot he also said that those kinds of contracts that you know he was under are still a systematic problem you know they call them slave contracts and he also pointed out that things are getting better for idols though nonetheless so it sounds like he went through a pretty hard time and when the agency was like probably not treating him and the guys the best they were giving him a hard time when he was trying to like leave so that sucks so where are they now ian is doing pretty good for himself he has held he has his own label and he has recently released an album as a soloist he's doing very very good um he's pretty active on instagram and he's very popular Maru now goes by Jejun and he's joined the group Trey, but they disbanded. I also plan on doing a video on them because they have really great music. Um, anyways, Jejun is on his third debut with the group Tan. Siwoo now goes by Wu Yun and is set to debut with other members from now disbanded groups, such as some members from Big Flow. I'm gonna do a video on them as well. Sigma and VX. The group will be called we knew tk was recently discharged from the military and it seems to be living a normal life kong jun is a graphic designer now and ray has also returned to a quiet normal life with his dog that he occasionally posts on instagram and that is all that i have for c clown you all who is your favorite member what songs did you like the best do you think they'll come back and give us a reunion They gathered for pictures not too long ago in 2020, I believe, so it could possibly happen. It looks like the guys are still in good terms with each other. I loved this group so much, and I would like to see more from them one day if possible, because like I said, I feel like they left us way too soon. They had so much potential. And yeah, just let me know your thoughts about them, and I will see you on the next one. Masalam.